If you have ever been curious about the world you live in, you have probably asked at some time, why is the sky blue? It's so obvious that the sky is blue, you might think the reasons would be just as obvious. They aren't. The air itself or the sunlight doesn't seem to contain any color. So why is the sky blue if air and sunlight are colorless? To understand why the sky is blue, we first need to understand a little bit about light. Although light from the sun looks white, it is really made up of a spectrum of many different colors, as we can see when they are spread out in a rainbow as Vibgear color. We can think of light as being a wave of energy, and different colors all have a different wavelength. At one end of the spectrum is red light which has the longest wavelength, and at the other is blue and violet lights which have a much shorter wavelength. When the sun's light reaches the Earth's atmosphere, it interacts with the tiny molecules of gas in the air. As we know that the tiny or invisible particles that make up our atmosphere. Major portion of atmosphere contains 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen, and rest of them is water, carbon dioxide, and argon atoms. There are also small amounts of other gases, plus many small solid particles, like dust and salt from the oceans. These molecules can scatter light of all wavelengths, but preferentially are more efficient at scattering bluer, shorter wavelength light. There's a physical reason behind this, all the molecules making up our atmosphere are smaller in size than the various wavelengths of light that the human eye can see. The wavelengths that are closer to the sizes of the molecules present will scatter more efficiently, quantitatively, the law it obeys is known as Rayleigh scattering. According to Rayleigh scattering, the intensity of sunlight in the atmosphere is scattered by molecules of the constituent gases varies inversely as the fourth power of the wavelength, hence, short wavelength of the visible spectrum will be scattered much more strongly than will the long wavelength. Shorter wavelengths like violet and blue are scattered the most strongly, so more of the blue light is scattered towards our eyes than the other colors. You might wonder why the sky doesn't actually look purple since the violet light is scattered even more strongly than blue. This is because there isn't as much violet in the sunlight spectrum to start with, and our eyes are much more sensitive to blue. The blue light that gives the sky its color is sufficiently bright to make all the stars that we see at night disappear since the light they emit is much dimmer. Clouds, on the other hand, are made of water droplets that are much larger than the wavelengths of visible light. The way they scatter sunlight is determined by how the light is refracted and internally reflected by, and diffracted around, the cloud droplets. For these particles the difference between the scattering of blue and red light is not nearly so large as it is for gas molecules. Hence, our eyes receive substantial scattered light at all visible wavelengths, causing clouds to appear more white than blue, especially when viewed against a blue sky background. To see more videos, like this and please consider subscribing.